Good day, guys. Welcome to another episode of Techly Things, where we discuss everything about tech stuffs. Now, today I will be showing you how to find the key to a, to a beat using Melodyne. And I'm using Melodyne 5 this time around. So, this is how we do. We're going to, we're basically going to find. In an empty song, I'm gonna find an empty song. Normally, you you can select the name of the the what you want your, your project to be. I'm just gonna name it song because I'm not really going to use it. But this is what I name it song, and you know how this all goes: the sample rate, the resolution, all of those things. Then uh, uh, I'm assuming that you all know what that is. So. When you finish that, you're gonna just press OK. Now from here, what I'll do, I'm gonna search for a beat. I have several beats around. I'm just gonna find this one here. Here we go, load it on. So once it's loaded now, we going to use Melodyne. So we go down to edit with Melodyne. And for the shortcut, you can use this, which is Control M. And if you're on your Mac, it's Command M. So you click on that, and you see it's using the mon monophonic detection. And it's, when it completes its cycle, then you will see what comes up. Good. So right here, you see where the beat is E minor. Right, it is E minor. So as simple as that, you find the, the, the you find the, the key to the beat. Now from here, what I normally do is just there you go. Remove the melody. Voila. So if you find this interesting, you know what to do. Just subscribe, and if you want the latest videos, just click on the bell. Right, I'll be showing you more shortcut and more ways of finding things and technical things so see you next time